Many people have walked across hot coals, and while that may seem crazy to you, walking across broken glass could be equally disturbing. Unfortunately, a friend has signed you up for this dare, and now you're faced with the prospect of crossing this sharp path, and there's no turning back. Here's how to survive walking on broken glass. If you stepped on one piece of glass, you could do some severe damage to your foot. So surely walking across thousands of pieces of glass would be nothing short of a death sentence, right? You'd think so, but there are many people who do this regularly and walk away without a scratch. Their secrets to survival aren't just a case of mind over matter. It's all about physics and understanding how glass works. Should you run across the glass? Why is old used glass less dangerous? Why should you use broken champagne bottles instead of beer bottles? Walking across broken glass is like walking across a bed of nails. Standing on one nail will pierce your skin, and standing on one broken piece of glass will likely cut you. And since there are two arteries in your foot, if you happen to cut one and can't stop the bleeding, you could die. But you can survive walking on broken glass. Here's how. Step one, move the glass around. If you're allowed to do this, inspect the trail and move any pieces that you think are going to be dangerous, especially the bottoms of beer bottles that have stayed as large pieces with the sides pointing up. Moving the glass around before you walk on it also will dull the edges a little. Step two, bring your own glass. Many performers who do this trick use glass they have had for several years, so the edges are dull. A talk show host tried walking on glass without any training. She was standing on glass that had been broken for several years. She jumped up and down on it and didn't get cut. And you might want to use wine or champagne bottles because they will have a gentler curve than the glass from broken bottlenecks or drinking glasses. Step three, move slowly. This is not a race, so you don't have to run. And if you go slow, you'll be able to feel the glass as you're walking. Press down with your heels first, since the skin there is thicker and more durable. And as you walk, remember that you're probably walking on a thick layer of glass. With each step, the pieces will shift against each other and the edges will move away from your foot. The tiny pieces of glass that are most likely to embed themselves in your feet will naturally sink to the bottom of the pile. Step four, use your feet wisely. Use your feet wisely. And with each step, lightly touch the glass and feel if any sharp pieces are sticking up at you. If there are, push them aside or step around them. Step five, find a partner. If you can, find someone who's willing to walk alongside you just outside the broken glass. This will improve your balance and you can place some of your weight on them. And remember, it could be worse. You could be crossing a live minefield. Although if that's the case, we have tips for that too, right here on How to Survive.